<laughs> hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And uh, it's kind of, it's really windy right now, so hopefully the wind filter will do its job. I'm looking at a 2015 Nissan Altima. Now this is the 3.5 liter um, V6 engine, uh, SL trim level. And uh, like a pearl white color. And here in the front, we've got um, projector headlights. Now the high beams are the high, uh, high intensity discharge headlights, and then the low beams are xenon. So, um, so they do, they do have the HIDs here for the high beams, and then you've got the um, the fog lights there as well. You've got a little sonar sensor right there. There is LED accents around the uh, around the headlights, but uh, let me go ahead and start it up. It does have the remote start here on the key, so I'll make sure it's locked. Push and hold the start button. And um, I, actually. This one may not have the LEDs on the top, like I thought, but we'll check it out. I'd like to do one at night time so you can really see the lights really good, because it's really hard to tell during the day. Alright, so it's got an alloy wheel. You can see it's a 18-inch uh, it's alloy wheel. It's kind of like a matte silver color. This one has a sunroof. And the key is a, it's an intelligent key, smart key, whatever you want to call it. And um, basically, if you start it using the key, you can open the, the trunk. But you can also just have the key in your pocket and walk up and lock and unlock the door just by pushing this button here. So I can just push that button and it unlocks the door. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use the key and unlock all the doors. And here's the back. It's got the dual exhaust. Now this car will fly. It's got really, uh, it's got a lot of power, but with the 3.5 liter V6 mated with the CVT engine, I mean the CVT transmission, um, really gives it a boost in power uh, with you know acceleration and, and speed and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and, and uh, open up the trunk. You see it has a little camera here, here. Backup camera. Here's the trunk. You got plenty of room. And uh, this one happens to have a mat. But this thing right here it lifts up. And you've got your, your spare tire in here. Now that's one thing you want to check on. Uh, if you're buying a new vehicle nowadays, they're not all they don't all come with a spare tire. So you want to make sure that yours does come with a spare tire. So let's check out the back. Yeah. The back seat. Oh yeah, I forgot to unlock all the doors. All right. There's the back inside of the back door. It's got a tan interior with some brown wood grain there. We've got a bottle holder. You have uh, perforated leather seats here in the back armrest with a cup holder plenty of leg room there's a set of mirrors I don't have to see any indication that they're heated they may be here's the window sticker by the way see if we can... I'm gonna I'm gonna have this all in the description but um, in case you want to use the pause button and check it out now you're welcome to do it of course, you can go on Grand Strand Nissan's website and check out all the details there. Here's the inside of the driver's door. And uh, here, you've got a little bit more storage space in the front doors. You also have your power windows for the front, the, the rear doors and the front doors. The front ones are power. Um, 
they're power but they're also automatic to where that's what that little a stands for so where you can just push it down one time and it'll go down or up lock and unlock the doors you can disable all the other the, the power windows besides the driver door by pushing this button here there's the side mirror controls there and this is a new vehicle so it still has the plastic over it but I think this is illuminated I think that's illuminated at night this little Ultima thing there I'm going to go ahead and take that off so people can see that all right turn the fan down a little bit oh yeah since I use a remote start I still have to push this button to activate everything so let me go ahead and turn the fan down it is pretty warm out so we'll need some air conditioning I just don't want to have plenty of wind blowing on the camera out the side I don't want to replicate that in the inside so here's the steering wheel and the lighting is a little bit let me see if I can reposition this vehicle because it's getting a little bit too too much of a shh, lights and darks going on here it confuses the camera While I'm backing up, you can see the backup camera. Alright, so I think that's a little bit better. So on the steering wheel here, you'll notice a bunch of buttons. And it also has these these like wings over here. These are actual paddle shifters to change to the gears. Um, find that they're kind of interesting looking uh, because you can use them anywhere on the side here and they're not attached to the steering wheel they kind of protrude from the, the column there a lot of vehicles have the paddle shifters on the steering wheel so that's a little bit different so over here we've got a few buttons and actually I'm gonna have to open up the door to show you um, see if you can see those this button to the left is your tra traction control button and uh, this one here opens up your trunk this is your uh, uh, this is your lane departure warning button you can turn that leave that on or you can turn it off this is where it uses the camera system to detect whether you're staying inside your lane or not it'll, it'll kind of alert you if you uh, you know if you start swerving out of your lane this is your heated steering wheel button here up here is your button for um, your your dimmer switch I guess you can say to, to adjust the interior lighting and then you got a trip reset button there all right so back to the steering wheel it is a leather wrap steering wheel with stitching on on the inside there and it is matching the seats uh, a lot of cars just have black steering wheel they have a bunch of black and then just have the seats, uh, the the interior trim. This one actually has the tan interior and the tan steering wheel. So that's pretty cool. Cruise control is here on the right. You can, you know, set it. You can adjust your, your speed that way there. And uh, there's a voice recognition button here. This one will, um, basically, you can say different commands like tune to a certain station. Uh, once you pair your cell phone with the system, Bluetooth, wirelessly pair it, you can push this button and, and make and receive calls. And it kind of, you know, kind of works in tandem with your, your voice recognition. So you can, um, you know, say cer certain commands like call a person or something. So here on this side of the steering wheel, you have your volume button. So you can turn the radio up and down um, right there. You also have your source for your radio. There's different sources, meaning that uh, you would have, um, I'm going to go ahead and push it to show you, CD, auxiliary input, AM, FM1, FM2, uh, satellite radio 1, satellite radio 2, 3, and so on, and then it cycles back through the whole thing here. So that's what your source button does. Now just below the source button, you have um, these things here. You got these buttons and then you got this toggle switch with the enter and a, when you push it in. Those correspond with this 
um, right between the gauges there's a screen and you see that right now there's a little car there and um, I'm just going to push this button here to show you this is kind of like a menu kind of scrolls through your menu system but I'm gonna push it you can see so it's going to tell you the tire pressure while you're driving when you're sitting still like this um, it doesn't have accurate reading so it doesn't tell you and then um, you know this is where your average mile per gallon average um, how many miles you've driven how long it's taken you and your average speed and all that stuff and you can reset it radio telling you what the radio is doing this is your compass and I like the way it has a little car in there to kind of show you uh, you know to give you a good perspective of, of the way a compass works any warnings like if you're low on gas or you got to turn signal out or something like that it'll let you know here and um, this is kind of your settings you can you can kind of scroll through here and change different settings depending on you know what you want and uh, so like say the body color of the vehicle in the picture you can change that to white if you wanted to that kind of stuff all right so I can scroll back and there's the uh, there's the back to the picture there and just want to point out let's see if I can zoom in and keep the focus you see probably not Oh yeah, there it goes a little bit. See where it says 415 miles? That's telling you how your range, how far you can drive before you have to get gas. On the left side is your um, the outside temperature, so it's 86 degrees outside. All right. It does have automatic headlights over here on this, um, you know, on the turn signal switch here? And then you've got your behind this paddle shifter thing is your uh, your windshield wipers and all that all right so uh, make sure the vents not blowing on the camera again so here is your center stack and your center stack consists of a CD player and uh, behind this SD, this, this little SD card thing um, I think that's for the navigation I don't think you can actually plug stuff in there um, not really sure it does not easily accessible so I think that's where your navigation SD card goes into so uh, this is a touch screen and um, but it also has buttons around it so let's just put the push the back button let's not do that because that we're already we can't go back out of any any particular place because we're not in a setting yet so I'm gonna hit navigation here Okay, so this one says Nissan SD card only. So there's no SD card in that little slot. I guess that might be an, an upgrade. Let me just push the map button. Yeah, I guess that's an upgrade you'd have to pay for. That's not included in this particular package. Um, maybe look at the window sticker. I, did, I overlooked that. But, um, you know, if this one did have the the upgraded navigation, then you can, um, you know, you'll have your 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 navigation map and also you can you know set different uh, destinations and stuff through addresses so your auxiliary your CD AM FM satellite radios on that side now you got your camera button here I'm gonna push that oh yeah I guess it just gives you different views here um, let's see here gives you a top view and a lower view interesting I guess that's like underneath the top there I didn't see the little camera there but I guess it gives you more of a broader view if you need that it's pretty interesting all right so um, take it back out of reverse I had to put it in reverse for that to actually pop up different apps it does have travel link but more than likely you might yeah you're gonna need the uh, the upgraded navigation so this one doesn't have that but it does have the ability to have it so that's a you know it's, it's good to have have the ability to have it right I, I guess um, your Bluetooth phone once you connect a, a phone here through Bluetooth you'll have your phone book and your call list and different things to um, to make and receive calls 
can also adjust your night mode there so your climate control it is a dual zone and you can tune the you can turn the dual zone off by pushing this button and then that way you can independently um, you can independently do it with a dual on push the button it'll be synced you can adjust it on this side they'll both be the same all right fan speed is right here you can recirculate the air, have fresh air, air conditioning, mode changes to where you want the air to blow. Like so. And I was kind of looking in this vehicle and, um, <laughs> you know, before I go too much further, this vehicle is a little bit cell phone unfriendly, I guess you can say. Uh, this is the only place I can find for my big Samsung Note 4 cell phone so it is a big cell phone here and um, so apparently there's a place here to put a cell phone but it doesn't fit in there even diagonal it doesn't fit it doesn't fit in the cup holder and so the only place I can find is it right here so um, I guess that's you know it gives you you know give you something there but uh, some of the other Nissans, uh, you know, have the ability to put your phone real convenient right there. So you can kind of, you know, look at it or whatever, see what time it is. But um, I thought it was kind of odd that they, uh, I, I know I've got a big phone, so it's not like it's a normal size phone. But, um, but you know, that's the kind of the trend with cell phones is get bigger and bigger. So I uh, thought it was kind of interesting. All right, so besides that, we've got this little cubby hole, which is good for phones and other things. You got a 12 volt power supply back in here move the phone out of the way right here you also have a USB and, a, and your auxiliary inputs are right here and there's your cup holders your shifter and like I showed you before I'm gonna put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera and uh, it, as you turn the steering wheel it there will be a line that shows up there and also alerts you when there's something back there it does have the um, the sonar sensors as it's showing here, um, the front and the back. It's kind of letting you know um, that they're on there. So in addition to the camera, you also have the sonar sensors. Now the shifter, you can you can continue down to drive, and um, you know you can also bring it down to sport mode. Now sport mode will. To kind of emphasize the vehicle towards more performance and less gas mileage so you know you don't want to leave in there all the time but uh, if you need to get to the hospital or something you know feel free to use it heated seat controls are here a little tiny pocket there this center console um, this lifts up now it has two different pockets and it's telling you right here a little reminder that the um, you've got the tray on the on this side and then there's a there's a thick and a thin one right here a big one uh, let's see right there if you can see that but anyway I'm gonna push that one okay I'm gonna push that one and then you can see it's got like a shallow pocket here with a place to put some cords out into the bigger pocket there and then you can open up the whole thing and then there's a big storage place with a power supply in there place to kind of like a junk drawer I guess glove compartment is pretty interesting it goes on for miles I don't see how in the world you can reach back there to get something unless you have like super long arms but it does have this little tiny pot kind of a little tray there in, in the front so you can put small stuff so if, <laughs> that kind of helps out it kind of redeemed themselves by putting that because if you put some stuff in there and you can do certainly if you're sitting in the driver's side, I mean, trying to reach over there is just impossible, um, especially with your seatbelt on. So that's definitely something you'd have to get out, go around the other side or whatever, and, and reach in there and get stuff. But it does, you know, you can put a lot of stuff in there, so. All right, so let's take a look at the big picture. There's a rear view mirror. It does have your garage door openers on the rear view mirror. This one also has the 
auto dim rear view mirror so if somebody's behind you with their high beam light lights on it'll dim itself to a you can turn that feature on and off right here if you want to up here is a place to put your sunglasses it does have some different lighting options here you turn all the lights on or just one or the other um, the visors have mirrors and lights and this one has a sunroof which is the you know the single pane sunroof you can do that number You can also vent it. Now I guess this one you can't vent. Now it's more like a, I guess like a moon or No, you can, you just have to push it forward. It doesn't say it. Sorry about that. All right, and then this, this shade just kinda is manual. Just use your hand to close it. Let's see what it looks like out of the back. All right, let me uh, pop the hood and see what's under there. See that 3.5 liter engine. V6, 3.5 liter. Smooth as glass. And this is the 3.5 liter that they put in just about everything that Nissan makes. It's a very reliable, smooth, time and chain driven engine. Um, as you can see, everything is high quality in here. There's um, Everything is appropriately placed. Like all the electronics are in the plastic boxes. We've got that carpeting on the side to make everything quieter and smoother, noise dampers, Got the extra protection on hoses and, and stuff like that. Got the insulation around the battery. There you have it, high quality Nissan Altima. This is the 3.5 liter engine. And uh, if there's anything in the in this particular video that you can um, you can add to it. If you have any experience with this vehicle, let me know. Any corrections, leave them in the uh, the comment section. And if you're interested in more information, uh, contact uh, my friends here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'll leave the contact information in the description. And if you're on vacation down here, um, if you're planning a vacation. Maybe it'd be a good time for an upgrade. Um, upgrade your vehicle. Stop by, and I, I know you'll be pleased with their service. And um, and of course, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to um, treat you wrong, basically. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me let me know. Front. See you next time.